Hi everyone, here's our next video for tools number six worksheet for Pathfinder. And I must say, I'll start off with this. Pathfinder is probably one of my favorite toolbars in Illustrator. It's really powerful and there's a lot of cool effects and designs you can do by, with the Pathfinder. So first off, let's go ahead and zoom in and check out these instructions. Z for zoom or your magnifying glass. I'm going to click and drag around this top part of the worksheet. All right, spacebar, I'm going to move it over a little bit. Black arrow V, let me move to my black arrow. All right, step number one, open the Pathfinder toolbar. All your toolbars are under Window, Path, and then Pathfinder. Let's check this out. Window, Pathfinder, and here we go. And I'm actually going to peel this one off. I'd like to leave this one open and go ahead and hit these close arrows and minimize that. All right, so on Pathfinder, you have all these different buttons right here. Now, you probably don't know what they are until you get your mouse and stop. There is Unite minus front, intersect, and so forth. Merge, trim, divide. I encourage you to play with all these, see what they do. This worksheet only has some of them, but some of my favorites, but go ahead and click on them, draw some shapes. Um, Pathfinder only works when you have more than one shape. So if you notice on this one, there's uh, two or three or four shapes even, and you're gonna use one of these buttons. All right, so for the first one, we're gonna select the two items with the selection tool. Yep, we're on our black arrow right here, selection tool. So we're gonna select the first two items, the square and the star. Now, to select both of them, I'm gonna click and drag and touch both of them. I'm gonna click and drag, touch the square, touch the star. As long as you're touching both, it's gonna grab each of them. If you have shapes where you aren't able to drag around and touch both of them, you can also use shift. Select one item, there's the first object, the shard, the star, I'm going to hold shift, click on the square. Now I have them both selected. I have both objects selected. All right, then this first one is just going to be minus front. Click the minus front on the Pathfinder toolbar. All right, minus front. If you don't know where it is, hey, it's that second one right there. And basically it takes whatever's in the front and subtracts it from the back. Boom, simple as that. This next one, exclude. So again, you're going to select all pieces, select all three pieces. Now we just got to find exclude up here on your Pathfinder toolbar. Divide, trim, merge, crop, outline, minus back, exclude. There we go. And that kind of subtracts wherever it overlaps. It kind of it, it uh, excludes it. All right. I'm going to go over this. These last two real quick. This one is going to be divide, but it requires it extra steps. Basically, what divide does is wherever. Let me zoom into this. Wherever these paths. Let me select them all. Wherever these paths cross over each other, it basically it slices and dices and divides. It cuts them all up. So let me zoom out a little bit. So I have the three items selected. Let me double check. Click and drag around the J, A, G, and divide is this first one on the bottom. Divide. Now it may look like nothing happened. Let's go to step two. Right click, ungroup. Right now, everything is grouped together. Basically, think of glue. It's all held together. But when we ungroup it, we break all the glue down on group still nothing happens we need to deselect which means click off of it click anywhere in the white area it's going to deselect now we come back and move all these pieces around now and this like i said wherever the lines wherever the paths crossed over each other it broke it all up now to change this sometimes we get extra remnants so let's check this out i'm going to highlight everything and change it all to a blue fill you notice not everything is black right now because it has this question mark. And that tells us that not everything has a black fill. So let's change this to blue real quick. And you'll notice it actually chopped up and grabbed us this inside of the letter A, which we can just hit delete on our keyboard. All right. Now merge. I do want it to look exactly like this. I'm going to come here. We're going to go ahead and click merge, which is this third one on the bottom. Merge. But what we need to do is chain get rid of the fill so on the fill right now i can just click none hit x on my keyboard to switch the stroke to the front and click that now let's double check this this might have some remnants off so let me grab everything and let's just change the fill and grab all this actually everything there's no extra remnants if i change it to yellow nope there is a piece in the middle sorry let's go and grab this letter oops right click you need to ungroup it I'm going to grab all this stuff in the middle here, delete that yellow extra piece. Now I'm going to grab all this. There we go. And let's just change. Let's get rid of the fill now. Perfect. All right. So that's the left side, the first side. Part 
two is a little more tricky. I'm going to give you a few hints. First off, what you're trying to do is create the end shape. So we're trying to create a plus sign, create this, and create the this little stick figure right here. You're trying to create each of these. Now, I do give you some hints. To create this plus sign, I created it using these two rectangles and my Pathfinder toolbar. Start with this, and you can end up with that. I'm not going to tell you this is going to take a little work. It's going to require one of these tools over here. And I'll give you one more hint in a moment. And this person, draw all these shapes, and then one of your tools over here on the Pathfinder toolbar. Now, I will give you a hint. When you're on this JAG, as long as the word JAG is still a font, Pathfinder is not going to work. Let me give you another hint. The word JAG cannot be a font. So if you go back to a previous video, there was a way that we learned how to unfont something. And if you need help, go ahead and ask me. But hopefully that helps and gives you enough information to get that one done. All right. Have fun. Good luck.